Hi, my name's Elaine. I am a counselor who likes to help children like me, like the child I was and maybe like the child you are, but also maybe sometimes grown-ups like me. I'm a grown-up, but I'm still that same child. And I'm reading stories that sometimes help tell our story. This book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's one of my favorites. I read it to my own son many, many times when he was young. This book is by Giles Andre or Andre and Guy Parker Ross. Maybe Guy Parker Ross is the illustrator. And you just wait and see. I love this book. It talks a little bit about being different from your friends and feeling different, but finding out that maybe you're not that different. You're just unique in a beautiful way. Let's see what happens. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. See Gerald the giraffe there. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now there he is munching shoots off the tree. And here he is when he tries to turn around he buckles at the knees and falls down. When I was little, sometimes when I tried to play sports, I would trip or fall. There were some things I was good at and some things were really hard for me. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. How exciting. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. So is he dancing in the jungle dance? Looks to me like he's standing off to the side. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and roll. <laughs> the lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. See if your parents can show you what the tango is like. It's a really fun dance. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Two more really fun dances to learn. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar, probably with laughter. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Wow, that's a lot of animals in the, at the jungle dance watching. Sometimes it's so hard to do things when everybody's watching and even worse when they're teasing you. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. Oh, Gerald looks so sad. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. Can you see Gerald in this picture? Here he is walking off through the jungle to go home away from the jungle dance. Makes me feel sad too. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier, Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Can you see the cricket? Here's the cricket right here. And there's the beautiful moon. Sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. What great teaching. I love the wise cricket. With that, the cricket smiled 
and picked up her violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. Here's the cricket and the violin. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Wow. In this picture, you can even see the cricket. I hope if you love this book, you'll get, the, get it from the library or the store and have it for yourself. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. <laughs> he looks so happy now. Very different. I see the other animals there in the background. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Wow. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Giraffes can't dance. I want to thank these gentlemen for making a beautiful book that talks about how I grew up when I felt sometimes so different that I just couldn't do what the other children were doing. And sometimes I was afraid to do it in such a different way. But when you have a brain who thinks a lot, you might end up worrying more than you need to worry. Sometimes it's good just to find your music and dance. I'm Elaine Friend. And if you like this story, I hope that you'll push subscribe and get notified when I put more up. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you were here with me. Bye-bye now.